Hello lovelies! Today's video is going to be about what is in my diaper bag. Well, my kid's diaper bag because if it were up to me, I'd use a purse every single day. <laughs> no, just kidding, but I do use a purse sometimes. Sometimes I, I just put my things in here and I use this as my purse slash diaper bag. But today we're going to be talking about the diaper bag only. Like what do I usually carry when I am out and about for the day with my little minions. So let's dig in. So first, like in this pocket, let's check this pocket. First things first, what I see are my baby's boogie wipes. These, I use them for when we're out and they have like boogers on their nose. I, also, I use these when they're sick simply because it doesn't cause them to rash right here and get it really irritated. Like that never happens when I use these. When I use toilet paper or Kleenex, it gives them really bad rash. So I started using these boogie wipes and they work completely great. I will never trade them for anything because these are the best. They also have them in grape scent. So you can always get the scented ones or the um, not scented ones. These are not the scented ones. So I have had the grape ones too, but it didn't it didn't cause any rash or anything. They still work the same. Next thing I also have in this bag, in this side of the pocket, I also have this. I have this is more like medicine stuff for when we're out in case they all of a sudden get sick or something. So like if they catch a fever or start coughing or whatever, I will I have like a medicine, I have Moltrin. So that works for them. They love it. It's their favorite. I also have like a little syringe. It's clean. I clean it every single time. I also have a nail clipper to clip their nails just in case they hurt it or something. I'll just look, clip, clip their nails and just fine. They'll be perfectly fine. I also like to use baby rub soothing ointment when they are sick. This is what I put on them. I like to put this baby rub on their chest and in the ends of their feet. Also in their nose, like when they're sick, when they have a runny nose. And this also helps to not cause rash along with the boogie wipes. I love this. And I get it, like it, it's for babies, specifically made for babies, so it's not too strong for them. Last but not least, I also have this baby thermometer. It works great great I love it because it has like a little top for it so in case it gets like it won't get dirty or anything and you always have to make sure to clean it before use and after use but mine is clean so what I like about this thermometer it's a Marner thermometer you can get it in Amazon I will post the link to the item in the description box for you guys to order but what I like, what I love about this um, thermometer is that it gives me results in less than 10 seconds. And that's what I love. I can do it in their armpit or wherever works great. It's all, you know, uh, parental preference. So however you guys like to measure your baby's temperature, this works for everything. So um, I like how it has, here let me see if you guys can see it. It, also, it has degrees and Celsius. Right now it is in Celsius and you hold it for three seconds and it'll turn to Fahrenheit. And you turn it off and then you turn it on again and hold it for three seconds and it'll turn back to Celsius. It all depends on which, which you like to use, but I like to use personally is degrees. So I always have it in degrees. I will show you guys an example of using the thermometer. So let's get started. Let me see, baby, put your arm up. There you go. Now put it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, 96.5. It was less than 10 seconds. It works quick. It is that her her temperature is 96.5, which is great. So. I told you guys this works perfect. I love this. You guys should definitely go and purchase it down in the description box again. That was all that was in this pocket. Now let's go to this pocket. In this pocket, I have 
my baby's little Who's Veggie Multigrain cookies. They love these cookies. Um, I like to take them for like when it's snack time or they want to get like a little snack because they're maybe hungry when we're running late on lunch or stuff like that. So I carry these along with me. I also have Joseph's toy, little toy uh, thing that he likes to play with. He likes to move the arms and everything. And I make sure he doesn't choke or doesn't take off any parts. The, the parts are hard to take off. So I make sure that he's always good. Another thing I have in this pocket, I have... Uh, baby's first things that go it, this is a book for Joseph or for Marilyn whenever we're out and they want to read or they want me to read to them this is what I read to them I show them what each cart is or every you know thing that goes apparently <laughs> so yeah I I read I read them this and they like it they like it they like to look at everything it's a great book I got this at Walmart and now let's dig inside the big pocket because in these two pockets, there is nothing. That's where I carry the sippy cups, but right now I'm washing their sippy cups, so yeah, they're washing. So when I first open this, I see Joseph's shoes, little Nike shoes. I carry these around with me all the time just in case we need them. Mostly all the time he has these on, but I also pack him little sandals just in case we're doing another activity where sandals is just better so like when we're in the park or something he could use his sandals but then if it gets cold he could use his shoes so uh, I mean it just depends wherever we are another thing I have is Johnson's baby powder um, and I also have Dr. Smith this Dr. Smith is it's the best diaper rash you can ever put on your baby Dr. Smith, it is a little expensive, not expensive, but it is a little pricey for this small little thing. It's $10, but it's totally definitely worth the $10. It, well, it actually depends where you get it at, but I buy it at Walgreens. So, because they're always out of this in Walmart, so I always purchase it at Walgreens. Whenever Joseph has a bad rash, I'll put this on and it'll take it off within that same day or the next day like it's off right away and I after I put this on I put uh, baby powders so just so that it won't hurt his um, bottom so yeah I like mixing these two together it works great I have a pair of clothes for Marilyn for when we're out in case she gets her clothes that she has on at the time dirty so I always carry extra clothes for her I also have extra little undies for her just in case she has a little accident with uh, toddler. And toddlers have accidents sometimes, so I like to carry an extra underwear for her. I also carry um, extra pajamas just in case we're out late at night or we're out at my aunt's house or wherever we're at and um, she wants to be comfortable, so I carry extra pajamas for her. I carry these just in case she gets her um, other socks dirty that she has on or in case she has sandals on. I carry extra socks for her. Sometimes I carry two extra socks. It just depends. Um, for Joseph, I carry an extra outfit as well. Sometimes I carry more than that. It all depends where we're going. I also have another outfit for Joseph, but this is a pajama outfit. So, just in case we're out late or something at my aunt's house or whatever, I have extra pajamas for him to ride in the car comfortably. I also have extra socks for Joseph as well. I carry extra socks for them because you never know. I also carry Huggies. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is good. I also carry baby wipes, Huggies baby wipes. The scented ones are my favorite. So I always make sure they have a scent to it. And no, it does not cause my baby rash. And that is all for my What's in My Diaper Bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope this helped you out on what kind of things you guys should carry for your diaper bag. Um... And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I, thanks for watching. I love you. Mwah.